Hello, Dr. Noob here again. So today I would like to show you a tutorial about the jump ability. And um, this is a little bit uh, deeper dig into this theme, but I must say that we are not covering the animation today because that comes later. So we will have for our Metroidvanias different abilities and I will do different videos for each one of those abilities. Anyhow, let's get started. Okay, so let's dive right in, starting with the ability of jumping. So uh, let's go now to our character, which I have placed under assets and prefabs. And uh, well, if I have now here my player character uh, highlighted, then I see here all the abilities that I have um, activated until now. So we are only up until the character horizontal movements, which means she can just walk right or left and nothing else. So the first thing I would like to do now is very easy you activate the character jump so in my case I have my Xbox uh, controller in my hand which means it should work right out of the box so let's start and if I can move right, left and right and yes I can jump good so that was easy right so let's see what we have here. So in here we have the usual uh, things like where the script is um, located, which means if I double click it, you see the location of it and well, your Visual Studio starts up. Um, no, I don't need that at the moment. Oh, come on. So. And uh, then we have, well, remember when we were talking about uh, blocking movement states? Um, well, in here I could add those. Let me just close that here. I don't need it. And uh, then we have the number of jumps at the moment, two. So it means I should be able to jump twice. Yes, one, two. But uh, in my case, I don't want to have that in two. I would like to have that in one. Good. Uh, ability permitted is um, something we definitely will need a lot in our Metroidvania because this is something that is very uh, particular in the Metroidvania world. You start without an ability and you grow adding those uh, abilities so uh, maybe maybe you want to start that uh, the character cannot even jump and once he finished the first level which would be a little bit boring without jump but let's say you choose it that way then you can activate the ability to jump now the jump height is now at 3.0.5 but how do you define the right, so let's say, the right number in here? So I have a small trick which I use. So in here, under the tile palette, under platforms, I will add now, let's say, here something. So that is one tile. Then in here, I put two tiles. And then in here I will put three tiles and maybe I want to have four tiles, I don't know. So just draw something like that because the game that we are doing is based on tile maps and tile, well, without, without having a tile map it doesn't make sense the way we are programming it here and uh, which means that you need to decide what kind of height you want to have and you should maybe 
uh, experiment a little bit and find out what the right feeling is. That's what I will do now. So well, definitely one is okay. Two, yes, and three. And that's it. So the fourth I couldn't jump up the fourth tile but the third tile as you see it's just barely barely doing it so maybe I would like to add just a little bit more of height in it or well another way to go would be also to say that you jump at the beginning not so high and then you increase the height but uh, let's say for a better feeling I would put 3.1 save that and test it yes let me yep I'm not sure if I should add more or not well this my friends is exactly your job when you are developing a game you will need to do a lot until you have finally found out the right um, value for your game to have the exactly the feeling that you want to catch in there. So the next thing we would like to check in here is can jump anywhere. So what does it mean? You can decide from where he can jump or well, in this case a she. So let's say she walks in here and jumps in the air, you see, or that's the anywhere, but you can choose in here if she can only jump on ground, which means I cannot do this jump anymore. Yeah, so no way if she's not grounded. So in here, this is something up to your taste. Um, personally, well, personally, I love uh, that you cannot jump from anywhere. It depends if you are doing a game which should be easy or uh, more family or beginner friendly, then you can maybe put the jump anywhere. It's definitely up to you. Um, I would say that can jump on ground and from leathers. Yeah, that's it. So the next one will be the reset camera offset um, will be reset on jump. So I must sadly confess I have no clue what this is about. So forgive me if I cannot answer you that at the moment. I will dig later a little bit deeper. Maybe when I'm uh, talking about camera, we can uh, we can test that out. Then uh, can jump down. Aha, uh -huh, yes, this is the one that you can check if you want to jump down on one-way platforms. So you know there will be one uh, some one-way platforms, which means you can jump on them from down. And if you want them to be well, if you want your character be able to jump down if you click down and jump. I think this is the one that makes um, makes a good game. And uh, there are the coyote time and the input buffer duration. So um, the theory behind that the coyote time comes from uh, the Roadrunner, where the Roadrunner, you know, he walks and he doesn't touch the ground anymore but he can still walk on it and then when he realizes that he's not touching the ground anymore then he goes down and here is exactly the same most of the games that you are um, playing uh, let's say what should we say yeah well mario even and um, if you are very looking very near to it. Let me do that in here. So what happens is you walk and you try to jump now. 
if you are thinking about it, you are maybe not touching the ground anymore. It even depends on where you have located uh, the point where he says that he's touching the ground or not. If you are doing it by yourself, you can maybe put uh, something in the middle here. And so you are definitely not touching the ground. And if you want to jump, then it will not work because we said he can only jump when grounded, right? So this would make your game a little bit laggy and the people playing your game would think that maybe the controller is not working right or that your game was just crap. So it makes sense that you add a little coyote time. So let's take that one out and let's experiment. So let's say you want to make a perfect jump. You see, I just tried to jump and uh, that's working. But now you see it's, it's just, I'm not sure if you can hear my buttons, but there are some times where it just looks like it doesn't work. So again, back to our character jump and let's say, Coyote time, sorry, 0 0.1. So it means 0 0.1 seconds. Yep, 0 0.1 seconds. He remembers. Yeah, that that's that's definitely better. So it means 0 0.1 seconds he's still keeping the grounding boolean so that he can jump there. So the next one of the quality of life is the input buffer duration. So in here you can add the time that he remembers that you click the button before he touches the ground. Um, so this is the easy explanation. Let me make it a little bit more clear. What I mean with that, so let's say you are jumping, clack, 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 and always clicking on a button, right? Um, he defines if he's touching the ground or not, depending on some uh, configurations that we have made on the Corgi controller and your character and so on. And so let's say the player clicks right here and for some reason he's not grounded now then he will not jump because we said and defined here that he can only jump on ground and he's not grounded. So the controller feels like he's not responsive enough. So in that case, you could um, have here uh, input buffer duration and change it uh, for a greater value. So I don't need that because I just tested it and let me show you that, oh, yep. Well, it sometimes is a little bit not responsive, sometimes yes. So I think I will, I thought I will not need to change that, but I think I will also change that to 0 0.2. Let me see if it's now more responsive. Yes, I would say even a little bit too responsive. 0 0.1. Okay, so I think I will leave that. Okay, uh, those are quite important. Uh, now let's go to the next, which I think it's important. It's uh, the proportional jump, which means that um, the jump is proportional to the time that you are uh, clicking on a button. So what does that mean is, let's say if I just click very quick, then I cannot even jump this two. And if I leave the button pushed, then I can jump higher. And this is what you are um, uh, tweaking around with it. So you tell what the minimum air, air time is and what the 
force could be and if you don't like that if you want to jump exactly the same height every time then you just take that out and then it doesn't matter if you are clicking it you see that was a very quick one um, the character will jump the full height I like that so I leave it and um, well the next two ones uh, which are left to discuss are the collisions um, I think I'm thinking that it's a little bit early to talk about those but it means that the moment you jump down from a, a one-way platform when you jump down uh, your collision will be shortly deactivated and here you can tell how much time you need it to be deactivated else you'll have some strange behaviors I once did uh, a small game where suddenly the character jumped like crazy somewhere it had to do with this collision thing and the same for the moving platforms jump but again I think it's uh, very early now to um, to talk about those so we leave them be and uh, the same as the feedbacks we will leave the feedbacks for another tutorial so in this case we can say that we have fulfilled the character jump I will shortly explain you one little thing which I will definitely go deeper in another tutorial but it's good that you know when you are playing so you know you can move left and right and you can jump with the space uh, if you are well left and right arrow and space for jump if you're using the keyboard and uh, with the Xbox controller is left and right and A is for jump so this is defined here under project settings so if I move this project settings in here which I sometimes like to do then you have here the input manager and in here you have the player one horizontal so does how does it move with the A and D button and uh, yeah that's how you can say how he should uh, jump so in this case for the player one jump he can jump just with the space button and you will see we have some of them uh, duplicated and well we need to clean that up before you um, roll out your game but just in case that you are thinking oh man why it's not working you can also change that and say well I will not like to uh, take a WASD maybe you want something else you can just change it in here or here with the alternative positive button is the joystick button zero which is the A in my Xbox controller yes that's it my friends um, thank you very much and I wish you a good time cheers